This is a homework help video for Unit 4, Lesson B, Inverse Sokotoa. Remember, you should only be accessing this video after a solid 20 minutes of effort. If you don't know what to do with a certain problem, I recommend you work yourself down this list. Taking a look at your homework. For these, you always want to label the opposite, the adjacent, and the hypo, and then determine what you're working with. And here, this would be from this angle, this would be the opposite side, this would be the adjacent side, and this would be the hypo. Now you look at the two sides you actually have. We have the hypo and the adjacent. So we have AH, and you see it's cosine. Now here, you check this out. And we're on the right-hand side now because we're working for finding the angle. So this is the equation you're going to use, inverse cosine. So it's inverse cosine. And you write exactly the equation out. Always write the equation out, adjacent over hypo. And that's going to give you the angle theta. Go ahead and finish that problem on your own. On the right hand side, again, label opposite, adjacent, and hypo. This is the opposite. That would make 5 the adjacent. And then this is your hypo. You look at what you have, and we have the opposite and the adjacent. So we have an OA combination. So you come here and you ask yourself, what goes with OA? And you see with OA is tangent. And because we're looking for the angle, we're using inverse tan. So it's inverse tangent. And that's going to be the opposite over the adjacent. And that's going to give you the angle theta, which is the missing angle that you're looking for. Once you find that angle theta, you can easily find the other angle here just by subtracting from 180. Taking a look here, let's look at what we have. We have the opposite side and the adjacent side. So we have an OA combo. Taking a look, OA combo again goes with tangent, OA. So you write exactly that out. So it's going to be tangent, inverse tan, opposite, over adjacent. And that's going to give you your angle theta. After you use that, you just subtract from 180 to find the other angle. Let's see what we have here. Here, this 47 is the opposite. And the 52 is across from the right angle, so that's the hypo. So now we have an OH combination. You come over here, you take a look at the OH combination, and we see that it is inverse sine. So it goes with so. So you're going to use inverse sine opposite over hypo will give you the angle theta, the one you're working with. And again, you subtract from 180 to get this green one up here. Uh-oh, take a look down here. We have all three sides. We have the opposite side. We have the adjacent side. 
and we have the hypo. We have all three, so this is like your sample problem. Technically, we can do all three. I'm going to set all three up. Obviously, you only need to use one to find your angle. But here we could do right here is we can use inverse sine. We can use inverse cosine. And we can use inverse tangent. We can use any one of them because we have all three. So for this one, we know inverse sine is going to be opposite over the hypotenuse will give us angle theta. Here, inverse cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse will give you the angle theta. Angle theta is right there. Here, it's going to be opposite over adjacent. Gives you your angle theta. Use any one of those to find angle theta, and then you can find that green angle. For this one here, it's the same idea. You could use all three. Choose the one that you believe will work best for you. This one, word problem, step one, put your finger right there. As I read, I'd like you to finger track and read along, finger on the paper, and underline keywords, phrases, and all numbers. It says, an airplane is coming in for a landing. At five minutes, about the altitude of the plane at that moment is 500 feet and the distance of the plane diagonally from the plane to the end of the runway is 8,000 feet. Draw a diagram of the given situation. You're going to calculate the angle of descent or depression of the airplane as it lands. Okay, keywords and phrases. First off, the airplane is 500 hundred feet and that is the altitude. Altitude always makes a straight right angle. That's really important. Whenever you see the word altitude or height, it, there's a right angle in there somewhere. It says the distance of the plane diagonally from the plane to the end of the runway is 8,000 feet. Draw a diagram. We want the angle of descent. So let's see what we can do here. Translate it to a diagram. It's coming in for a landing. So here's our landing strip. And the height from here straight down at a right angle, that is 500 feet. And it's 8,000 feet diagonally from the end of the runway. So here's the end of your runway. So the airplane diagonally, that's 8,000 feet. We're being asked to find the angle of descent. Now, angle of descent starts at a horizontal and angles downward, like that. That's an angle of descent or depression, which is the same thing. So the angle of descent here, you start at a horizontal, you angle downward. So that's the angle we want right there. We're going to call that angle theta. So what you want to see here is we can close this up to make a right triangle and close this up to make a right triangle. And we have two mirrored right triangles. And we know that that angle of descent is going to be the same as this angle here of elevation because technically they are armpits of the Z. So we can bring this 500 over to the other side. 
Now you find your two sides you're working with and use an inverse, either sine, cosine, or tangent to find this angle of descent. You do your own work. Finger track and read with me. You are waving up at a friend who is taking a hot air balloon ride for his birthday. When the hot air balloon is exactly 350 feet in altitude, then the diagonal distance from you to that friend is 1,200 feet. What would be the angle of elevation from you on the ground up to your friend at that moment? Okay, underline keywords and phrases. You are waving up to a friend. The hot air balloon is 350 feet high, which is the altitude. The diagonal distance from that friend to you is 1,200 feet. We want the angle of elevation from you on the ground up to your friend. Okay, now we're going to draw a label list cross out. So we take, we have a friend and a hot air balloon. Okay, hot air balloon. And then we have you on the ground. So there's the ground. So let's put you on the ground. This is you. This is your friend waving up at you. The hot air balloon is exactly 350 feet high in altitude. That again is a right angle concept. The word altitude always means height, which means a right angle. This is 350 feet up in the air. It says the diagonal distance, that keyword diagonal from you to the friend is 1200 feet we want to find the angle of elevation up to your friend. The angle of elevation starts at a horizontal and goes upwards. That is your angle theta. You're going to find the angle of, of elevation using inverse sine, inverse cosine, or inverse tangent, depending on the context of the information. So we have drawn, label, list. We took care of all our numbers here. Angle of elevation, we have it labeled. Cross out. You finish.